Hello friends, welcome to the third part of current affairs compilation of economics and today's topic is external sector. These are the topics that will be handling ECLGS, Kabul, America Combits Act, WTO and the Peace Clause, Foreign Investment Facilitation Portal, Foreign Direct Investment and MPEDA. <coughs> Starting with ECLGS. ECLGS was announced as part of Atmanirbhar Bharat package to provide fully guaranteed and collateral free additional credit to MSMEs, business enterprises, individual loans for business purposes and mudra borrowers. Since then, government has extended the scheme to cover various industries. Till now, four extended versions have come out. And what is ECLGS? It provides 100% guarantee coverage to member lending institutions on guaranteed emergency credit line, that is to banks, financial institutions and even NBFC. Then, ECLGS 3.0, business enterprises in hospitality, travel and tourism, leisure and sporting sectors would be able to avail credit under ECGLS, ECLGS. Sorry. Interest rates are capped at 9.25% for banks and financial institutions and 14% for NBFC, extended credit line guarantee scheme. Clear people, it's credit line guarantee. That is who is giving the guarantee? Government is giving the guarantee to banks, financial institutions and NBFCs for the loans that they give to whom? The loans that they give to MSME, business enterprise, individual loan, as well as mudra, borrower. Just go through Shishu, Tarun, Kishore. Okay. Then, Kabil. What is Kabil? Kanji Bidesh India Limited, Kabil, it is a joint venture company set up with the participation of three central public sector enterprises, namely Nalco, Hindustan Copper, HCL and Mineral Exploration Company Limited, mandated to identify and acquire overseas mineral assets of critical and strategic nature such as lithium, cobalt, nickel, copper, neodymium and other rare earths, etc. Kabil is already engaging with countries like Australia, Argentina, Bolivia and Chile which are endowed with cited critical and strategic minerals. America Competes Act United States unveiled America Creating Opportunities for Manufacturing Preeminence in Technology and Economic Strength Act or the America Competes Act of 2022. It proposes procedures for foreign nationals with an ownership interest in a startup entity to self-petition for classification as a W1 non-immigrant. This is expected to open more opportunities in the U.S. for Indian talent and for skilled workers. So this is beneficial for Indians. That is the important thing here. Clear? WTO and Peace Clause. <clears throat> in order to meet the domestic food security needs of poor population, India has invoked Peace Clause of World Trade Organization for exceeding the 10% ceiling on support offered to rice farmers. India became the first country to invoke the Peace Clause in 2020 as rice subsidies exceeded cap in 2018-19. Under the Peace Clause, WTO member countries are refrained from challenging any breach in prescribed subsidy ceiling given by a developing nation at Dispute Settlement Forum of WTO. Agreement on Agriculture and the Peace Clause. There are three pillars of agreement on agriculture. Under market access condition, both developed and developing nations were to convert all non-tariff barriers into tariff. Domestic support includes the classification of subsidies into boxes depending on their effect on production and trade. This was again a previous year prelims question. Amber box, blue box, etc. So find it out. Export subsidies and other methods used to make exports artificially competitive. Agreement on agriculture contains a due restraint or peace clause which regulates the application of other WTO agreements to subsidies in respect of agricultural products. The broader, uh, what is it? The broader context of these three things is, that is, now we know we are offering what? Minimum support price to rice as well as how many other crops? Put it up in the comment section. Then, MSP is being offered. Now, the minimum support price what we are offering to the crop is against the agreements on agriculture. So, to protect ourselves from facing any backlash of WTO, we invoked what? The peace clause. Why? Because India has a responsibility towards providing the people with affordable subsidized food. So, peace clause we have in invoked. Green box is there, amber box is there, blue box is there. Then, special and differential treatment box is there. 
just go through these it is not so important but this has come as a previous year upsc prelims question so just go through the provisions of what comes under green what comes under amber and what comes under blue box along with special and differential treatment box foreign investment facilitation portal <clears throat> Foreign Investment Facilitation Portal completed five years after the abolishment of earlier Foreign Investment Promotion Board in 2017. FIFP is new online single point interface of Government of India for investors to facilitate foreign direct investment. It is administered by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade comes, that comes under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. It facilitates single window clearance of applications which are through approval route. Hotspot. International Monetary Fund has increased the weightage of US dollar and Chinese Yuan in its review of the currencies that make up the valuation of its SDR. What do you mean by SDR? What do you mean by reserve tranche? What are the other currencies that comes under SDR? Clear people? Put it up in the comment section. Foreign Direct Investment. Automatic route. Prior approval not required either from RBI or government. Under government route, FDI not covered under automatic route will come under government route, which are the prohibited sectors, lottery business, gambling and business, chit funds and nidhi companies. FDI is the investment through equity instruments by a resident outside India in an unlisted Indian company or 10% or more of the post issue paid up equity capital on a fully diluted basis of a listed Indian company. All of that will be considered as what? FDI. MPEDA. MPEDA, Marine Products Export Promotion Council or Export Development Authority, was launched in 1972 as a statutory body of the Ministry of Commerce and Industry as the nodal agency to promote the export of marine products. Erstwhile, it was known as Marine Product Export Promotion Council, which was established in 1961 and it was converged into MPEDA, Marine Products Export Development Authority. Clear people, coming to B20. What do you mean by B20? It was formed in 2010. It is the official G20 dialogue forum with global business community. It aims to deliver concrete, actionable policy recommendations on the priorities by each rotating presidency to spur economic growth and development. Find out G20 countries. Also check out the physical map of it. Any landmark, landforms like seas, water bodies, etc. Whatever are there, mountains, etc. Please have a go through it. You may get a map-based question from this because G20 has been in news very frequently. So with that, we come to an end of part three of current affair compilation of the subject economics. So today we discussed external sector. Any suggestions or comments, put it up in the comment box. Happy studying. God bless. Take care.